I come down here behind the mall because, well, to me it's like, like a gold mine. There's shopping carts all over the place, in the woods and in the lake. Left for dead, nobody else wants to fuck things. I can make a buck off them. Oh, you cocksucker! Normal people don't see the beauty in a shopping cart. I worked as a, a parking lot mall security cop, but basically all it entailed was rounding up fucking shopping carts all day. Back then I was pissed off at everything. I mean, I got drunk a lot, and basically I walked around the parking lot drinking and collecting fucking shopping carts every day of my life. I was fucked. Perky Jason has some carts down here. I can't get them. Over. Fuck. Ricky to Jason, over. My boss back then was uh, Jason Peterson, and believe me, he was a real fucking dick. I mean, he'd lecture me and talk to me, but whenever he was talking to me, I just looked at him and I was thinking to myself, fuck off, you fucking prick. Anyway, I mean, I wanted his job, I'll be honest. Basically, because he didn't have to do shit. I'm the one that did all the work. He just walks around throwing warnings on car windows because they're parked improperly. Ricky, I would have fired that guy for being drunk on the job, but, you know, I couldn't cast the first stone. I was drunk, too. Where the fuck do you think you're going with that, fuckster? Huh? Let go of the cart. I found that car fair and square in the pond. How many Let fucking go times are you going to tell you you're not stealing shopping carts from the mall anymore, all right? Now get the this, fuck out of here. This is my cart. I get 12 bucks. Do you want me to call the police? Let go of the cart. Let go of the cart. You want to give me 12 bucks? You can have it. Let go of the cart. Give me 12 bucks for it. That's my cart. Listen, I don't mind one cart going. Give me 12 bucks for it. But this is getting a little bit ridiculous. Get the fuck out of here. We got him. He's down by the supermarket. That was a prick. That was a prick job. Fucking asshole. Took care of the problem. Ricky, 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 go get that car. Get in that fucking Get the car. I guess I took my problems out on Carp Boy. I mean, I didn't realize at the time that we had a lot of similarities. We both made a living collecting fucking shopping carts. I guess the big difference was that uh, he did it straight and I was drunk all the time. Put it in there right. Happy? I don't care who you are. I mean, at some point, you're gonna do something in your life that you wish you could take it back. But guess what? You fucking can't. Once it's done, it's done. I guess regret in that way is like a form of punishment for things you wish you'd never did, but you did them. Hey, fuckstick. What the fuck is going on here today, huh? Looking at shopping carts. No, we're fucking stealing shopping carts again. The fifth time this fucking week. I'm not gonna fucking tell you again to stay the fucking away from here. I got as much right to these carts as anybody. They're all fucking down over the bank. Sir, the carts belong to the shopping mall, okay? You're not allowed to take them. Doesn't look like fucking mall wants them to me. I got as much right to these carts as anybody there. No, you don't. You don't have any fucking right to them at all. Do you know what these fucking things are worth? Huh? Get True. the fuck yes, out of here. Fucking do know Get the fuck worth. out of here and don't, Why don't come back. Why don't you fucking leave me alone and fuck off? Are you stupid? I said it's mall fucking property. Are you stupid? Don't fucking call me stupid. You fucking call me stupid? Get that fucking guys, thing out of my face. Guys, Maybe you saw me. Guys. I don't think I heard you right. What did you do that for? What did you do that for, Ricky? Well, the guy's been here every day this week stealing shopping carts. No one's doing anything, so he deserved it. <laughs> go up and round some carts up at the corral. Do your job. Why don't you go round some carts up? Go. Fuck you. <laughs> you okay, sir? <laughs> Frigga. Anyway, I don't know. I've... The way I look at it, if I hadn't done all that bullshit back then, maybe I wouldn't have learned the lessons that I did. I'm missing 311. Is that 420 down there? That's uh, 421. That's 420. Look who it is. 
What in the fuck is he doing back here? Well, let him go find out. Ricky, wait. Let's what? follow him home. And then what? Get to the bottom of it. Come in. How you doing? Hi there. I believe you were at the shopping mall yesterday. You dropped this. Who was? You were? No, I wasn't at the mall yesterday. You weren't at the mall yesterday. Don't remember stealing shopping carts or getting punched in the stomach? It's a picture of a cat. Oh, you fucking dick. That's my picture. Yeah. Anyway, this, this is your picture. Yep, that's my Do you mind if we come inside and talk to you for a couple minutes? What about? Maybe, but what are you doing with all the fucking shopping carts from our mall? Do you mind if we come up for a minute? No, nope. it's okay. Yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> so guess why we're here? You should know. The shopping mall? Shop carts? What happened to your cat's paw? Oh, you don't want to know. No, what happened? All right. Well, she has kittens every year, and I drive them out of town there to the orphanage and take the kitties out, drop them off for the orphans to play with, because they love them. With about a year ago, I took the last ones out, and then Coming home, that's... That's when it happened. That's when what happened? Well, dropped them off and gonna head back into town. I put Bubbles here, up in the front seat with me. That's where, that's where she likes to ride. Going halfway home, some drunk cocksucker coming right at me. No one fucking thing I could do. I had to swerve it. Front wheels caught the ditch. Car flipped down over the bank four times. Ended up upside down. Bubbles got thrown out the window out into the field. I was knocked out cold. Would have died. Car was on fire. She came walking right through the flames to save me. Pa got burned really bad. Lost it. As I sat there listening to the cart boy, it came to me. I was the biggest fucking asshole in the world. So anyway, I got a quote from the doctor there. 2,800 bucks and I can get a brand new paw. I mean, here the guy is trying to save up money to buy a prosthetic limb for his cat. And I'm sitting in his living room fucking drunk. Fuck, I was a dick back then. We used to play outside all the time, but I also don't want to go out no more because other cats beat her up. 2,800's all I need. I got 300 saved up from getting those carts. I get 12 bucks a cart. 300 over. That's what I need those carts for. As soon as he started telling me that story, I felt like a ship sinking in a sea of shit. I mean, I remember reading about that cat in the news and how he saved the man. It was all true. I felt so sorry for that guy. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, man, I'm really fucking sorry. I'm sorry I punched you in the stomach and shit. Sure. Anything that we can do to help you out, or...? Well... Maybe next time you guys turn your back for a minute. Let me take a few of those carts out of there. Sure. You're fucking right, you can. It's as simple as this. The next time you go to beat the fuck out of somebody for stealing shopping carts, just do me one favor and ask yourself this question. What would it be like to walk in that man's shoes for one mile?